Unlock your potential. The surprising science of writing goals in the present tense. Did you know that more than 90% of people fail to achieve their goals? Are you one of them? Today, we're diving into a simple but powerful technique that could change your life. Writing your goals in the present tense. Stay tuned, because I'm going to share a real-life story of a client who turned their life around by tweaking just one thing in their goal-setting strategy. And trust me, you don't want to miss how it all unfolds. In the next few minutes, we'll explore the science, share a transformative case study, and give you actionable tips to make your goals a reality. And stick around till the end for a special opportunity to work with Todd Allen personally. The Power of Goal Setting Goal setting is more than just a to-do list. It's a powerful tool for transforming your life. Studies show that people who set clear, specific goals are 90% more likely to achieve them. But the secret sauce might just lie in how you frame those goals. According to psychologists Locke and Latham, specific and challenging goals boost performance. But recent research is digging deeper into how the wording of our goals, specifically using the present tense, might influence our mindset and actions. Let's explore why. Here is a case study. Let me tell you about Maria, a client I worked with not too long ago. She was stuck in a rut feeling overwhelmed by her goals and unsure how to move forward. Despite her best efforts, she wasn't seeing any progress. Maria had goals like, I want to start my own business, and I hope to lose 20 pounds. Sound familiar? She wrote them down but they felt distant and unattainable. That's when we made a small but powerful change. We rephrased her goals in the present tense. Self-affirmation theory and present tense goals. Hello, everyone. First and foremost, I want to say thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Your support means the world to me. I also want to use this opportunity to encourage all of you to share this channel with as many people as possible. Why? Because sharing is caring. This channel is dedicated to helping people improve their happiness and well-being, and we all know the power of communication. So by sharing this channel, you are not only helping your friends, family, and colleagues, but you're also helping us to grow and reach more people. Together, we can create a community of happy, resilient, and highly productive people, and that's a win-win situation for everyone. So let's spread the word and make a positive impact. Thank you again for watching, and please do not forget to hit the share button, and have a great day. Now, let's go back to this important video. You see, this aligns with self-affirmation theory, developed by Claude Steele. The idea is simple. Affirming your values can reduce stress and improve performance. By writing goals as if they are already happening, like, I am a successful business owner, Maria wasn't just setting a goal. She was affirming her belief in herself. This shift taps into your brain's neural pathways, creating a sense of certainty and motivation. It tricks your brain into believing you're already on the path to success, which makes taking action feel more natural. Neuroscience and positive thinking. Neuroscientists have found that our brains light up when we engage in positive thinking. When Maria started saying, I am fit and healthy, her brain began to respond as if it were true. This isn't just feel-good psychology. It's grounded in science. Imagine a brain scan where neurons fire up, reinforcing positive behaviors and reducing the mental barriers that often hold us back. Continuation of Maria's journey. After a few weeks, Maria started to see real changes. Her mindset shifted. She felt more motivated to take daily actions toward her business and fitness goals. She wasn't just hoping for change. She was embodying it. Maria went from feeling stuck to feeling unstoppable. And all it took was rephrasing her goals in the present tense. She wasn't saying, I hope to be, but I am. And that shift made all the difference. Criticisms and limitations. Now you might be thinking, this sounds too good to be true. And there are critics out there. Some experts argue that writing goals in the present tense could lead to overconfidence if not paired with action. But here's the thing. For Maria and many others, this technique wasn't a magic bullet. It was part of a broader strategy. It worked because she combined it with clear planning and consistent effort. Practical tips for effective goal setting. So, how can you apply this to your life? Start by rewriting your goals in the present tense. Make them specific and vivid. I am earning $10,000 a month from my business, or I am completing a 5K marathon. 
Experiment with this technique and see how it feels. Combine it with visualization, break down your goals into smaller, actionable steps, and review your progress regularly. Now it's your turn. Write one of your goals in the present tense in the comments below and share your experience. I'd love to see how this works for you. If you're serious about achieving your goals, consider joining our Happyocity coaching program. And for a limited time, I'm offering a free 30-minute strategy session to help you set and achieve your goals. Reach out directly to Happyocity founder Todd Allen and let's explore how he can support you in reaching your optimum levels of goal attainment. Spots are limited, so don't wait. Take action now and let's make your goals a reality together. Hit the subscribe button, like this video, and share it with someone who needs a little extra push today. Stay tuned. In our next video, we'll dive deeper into the science of visualization and how you can use it to achieve even your most ambitious goals. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss it. Until next time.